Hey everyone, welcome back to another GCSE History Exam Technique tutorial. Today we're going to look at four mark similarity and difference questions and you're going to find these on paper one, that's your medicine paper. The content we're going to focus on in particular, well we're going to look at medieval and modern diagnosis and we're also going to look a little bit at plague in the 14th and 17th centuries. So what do these questions look like? Well, let's take a look at one. And here it is. Explain one way in which the methods used by doctors to diagnose illness during the medieval period were different to the methods used during the modern period. Now, these questions will always ask you about either a similarity or a difference. And in this case, we're being asked to compare the difference. Now, we're also being given a focus for our answer. We have been asked to concentrate on the methods used by doctors to diagnose illness. In other words, how did they work out what was wrong with their patients? Lastly, we also need to pay special attention to the two periods we've been asked about. In this case, we have been asked to compare the medieval period to the modern period. Now, before we do that, let's revise some of our knowledge. First of all, how did medieval doctors diagnose disease? Well, first of all, they focused on their patients' humours. Normally, they would ask their patients questions about their symptoms and about their diet, and they did this to decide which humour was out of balance. They also took samples from their patients, looking at their urine, their faeces and their blood. This was done to decide which humour was out of balance. So actually, these two ideas are linked. Thirdly, doctors also used astrology. They used astrological charts and checked the patient's star sign. This was done because they believed the position of the planets could actually affect the patient's humours. So again, these two ideas are linked. And what about modern doctors? How do they diagnose disease? Well, firstly, they also ask questions about their patient's lifestyle. For example, how much alcohol they drink, what their diet is like, and perhaps whether they smoke or not. They may also ask their patient questions about their family and whether there are any hereditary conditions because doctors today understand that some diseases are passed on to the patient through their genes. Doctors today also carry out scientific tests. They may take samples of blood, skin or flesh, called a biopsy, and these things are tested scientifically in a laboratory to find out what's going on inside the patient's body. And here's another way that doctors diagnose what's happening inside the patient's body, technology because today we use x-rays, MRI scans, endoscopes, little cameras, and blood pressure monitors to find out what's going on inside the patient. So let's go back to that question we were looking at. Explain one way in which the methods used by doctors to diagnose illness during the medieval period were different to the methods used during the modern period. Any excellent answer to a question like that needs three key ingredients. First of all, we need to identify a key difference between the two periods. Then, we need a specific detail from the first period, 1250 to 1500. And finally, we need a specific detail from the second period, in this case, 1900 to the present. So we're going to write a maximum of three sentences and no more. So here's our model answer. One difference is the questions doctors use to diagnose their patients. In the medieval period, doctors asked patients about their symptoms to find out what humour was out of balance. Whereas in the modern period, doctors ask patients if they have any history of hereditary diseases in the family. So as you can see, I've shown two very specific ways in which the questions doctors ask are different.
Let's look at another example. Again, we want a key difference, a specific detail from the first period, and a specific detail from the second period. Here's another model answer. One difference is the equipment doctors use to diagnose their patients. In the medieval period, doctors used astrological charts to check the patient's star sign, which could affect their humours. Whereas in the modern period, doctors use technology like blood pressure monitors to check their patient's blood pressure. Now, look at this question. It looks the same, doesn't it, with one key difference. Explain one way in which the methods used by doctors to diagnose illness during the medieval period were similar to the methods used during the modern period. So here we're being asked about a similarity. The structure of our answer is going to be almost exactly the same. We're going to need three ingredients. First of all, a key similarity. Then a specific detail from the first period and a specific detail from the second period. So here's our model answer. One similarity is that in both periods, doctors took samples from their patients. In the medieval period, doctors looked at samples, e.g. urine and faeces, to diagnose their patients' unbalanced humours. Similarly, in the modern period, doctors also take samples, e.g. blood and flesh, to test in a laboratory for the cause of disease. Let's look at another. Again, here we're comparing similarities. So we need a key similarity, a specific detail from the first period, and a specific detail from the second period. Here it comes. One similarity is that in both periods, doctors look for causes of disease inside the body. In the medieval period, doctors looked at samples of urine to check the patient's digestion. Similarly, in the modern period, doctors may use x-rays or MRI scans to look inside the body for tumours or broken bones. Now let's look at another example of this kind of question. Explain one way in which people's reactions to the plague in Britain were similar in the 14th and 17th centuries. So here we're being asked to focus on how people reacted to the plague. We're being asked to compare the similarities and we're being given two different time periods to compare, the 14th and the 17th centuries. In other words, the medieval period and the Renaissance. Now, remember, when we're tackling a question like this, our answer needs three ingredients. First of all, a key similarity, then a specific detail from the first period, i.e. the 14th century, and a specific detail from the second period, the 17th century. So here's our model answer. One similarity is that they took a religious approach to the plague. In the medieval period, they turned to God to keep them safe from plague. Similarly, in the 17th century, they also asked God to help them. Now, at the moment, that student is not going to get her four marks. Just look at the two details she gives. They are just not specific. So how could we improve them? Well, let's do the medieval one first of all. Look, let's make it more specific. In the medieval period, flagellants whipped themselves to show God they were sorry for their sins. That's a much better specific detail. And look at that other one from the 17th century. They asked God to help them. Well, that's not very specific, so let's improve that too. Similarly, in the 17th century, people painted red crosses and wrote, Lord have mercy on their doors. Ah, now we have a specific detail. So, how would you answer this question? Explain one way in which the treatment of illness in the period 1700 to 1900 was different to the period 1900 to the present. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget there are lots more videos available on our YouTube channel.